This will be a complete tutorial of our credit card processing payment systems integrated with Servo. When you activate Oliver, the ones we'll be discussing today are Auth.net, Benchmark, Payment Depot, and US Pay. I'm going to go ahead and work in the Payment Depot one today, but they all work identical. First and foremost, you just must make sure that you have your authorized um, ID and your authorized transaction added, and it is active. We must also make sure that we have an introductory email. That introductory email can use the placeholders. You must also make sure that we add our link. We add this for you by default to help you. Should you need it re-added, we can. This is the initial email that gets sent when you do your very first charge or transaction or you do an invite. The second email is the email that gets sent when a transaction fails and the system believed there was a good credit card on file. You can select this option to disable the credit card invite when the patient is created. You can also select and disable auto charge and turn the system into a complete invoice system where it creates a invoice and your patient has to add credit card information and pay. This is when you can choose to either send these notifications by email, portal, or both. For the current demonstrations, we're gonna select both. I believe portal is the better one to utilize. If a transaction fails, you have the ability to notify an admin by selecting the admin notification section. This is the credentials tab. You can invite a patient to the system two ways. One, simply run a card charge like normal and select P Depot and add payment. If a credit card is not on file, it will initiate the invite. Should you want to invite a bunch of your patients at once or a certain subset, you can come in to bulk invite, add the list of emails and select invite. Now remember, I had two options activated, portal and email. So if we log into our patient and I just got a notification on the app that I got a portal message, secure messaging, I'm gonna see that I now get the welcome message with the link for me to put in my information. I can go to my email and you can see I have the e same email that takes me to the credit card form. This is the two ways you can add a patient to the system. Running charges are just like normal. Select the amount. Select how you want to pay. I always think you should add some notes and then add payment. If the payment is successful, successful, or once your patients add payment information, the invoice will automatically execute and come in to your secure message in your patient portal. Should a transaction not be successful, the patient will get that failed email every day until they put in a successful payment. Your admin will get notified that you selected to be notified and the charge will eventually get withdrawn. To add a subscription, go to the patient that you wanna add a subscription on and select the charge you want added to the subscription Select how often you want that charge to run. 
Select when you want the charge to start. Select the number of payments and create subscription. You can go to the subscription list to see your active subscriptions or currently your all your subscriptions. You can click inside of them to view. You can cancel them at any time. You can click your charge list, which will see all of your charges, their status, the charge name, the refund, search for a patient's email, their associated charges will populate. And you'd select complete refund or partial refund. And you would select the charge from the drop down. Invoice invitation allows you to create an invoice that you can send to your patient to allow them to execute a charge. We're going to select portal. We're going to select the charge new patient. We're going to have this be a single charge. And we're going to go ahead and select the charge. We're going to make it a subscription. We and we're going to have it run monthly and we're going to have it start on the 1st of November. You have a message to your patient. You make sure you add the payment link. Select the emails that you want to send it to. And send the invite. We can go to our secure messages, refresh our tab. And you can see that we now have a message. We're going to go ahead and click the link. And it will take us to a place where we can select the charge we want to add or charges we want to add and hit submit. And if we have a credit card on file, it will execute the charge. And if we don't, it will take us to the credit card addition screen. We've talked about ensuring that your credentials are entered and active and that you have your settings correct and set up. We've talked about how to invite your patients, whether it's a single charge or a bulk invite. We've talked about adding subscriptions and the subscription list, looking at your charges and your refunds, and doing an invoice to the patient. Should you have any questions, please do come to live support. I'm more than happy to assist in any way, shape, or form.